It's game on. You can call this year's purple the new look Vikings. Fresh out of the NFL draft, one of the young defenders joins us. We're up front too. One of the Vikings promising linemen talks team turnaround. Soccer spotlight is shining on Minnesota and the defending NASL champs get time with a shooting star in the house. And it wouldn't be game on without Chef C. Our pro gets challenged by another pro at the table. It's game day. It's Sunday. It's game on. And you found us again tucked in amongst the skyscrapers in downtown Minneapolis. This is Game On, powered by Seven, Steakhouse, Sushi, Ultra Lounge, and Sky Bar, downtown's ultimate event destination. Good to have you here. Rod Simons on this Sunday. Hope you're enjoying Minnesota's great, great weather. Yeah, the twins are out of town, but this place is already hopping. Tim McGraw, Kenny Chesney will be playing just down the street in a couple of hours, and we have a packed show for you. We're bleeding purple on this Sunday. Let's get after it. As you know, we always start Game On by the numbers. And when we look at the numbers, the Twins and Major League Baseball enter the All-Star break. Vikings three weeks from starting the 2012 season with camp in Mankato. The Lynx enter the WNBA Olympic break next week, and that will last until August 17th. And Stars FC with back-to-back -back home games ahead. And delighted to kick off Game On with the new safety of the Minnesota Vikings, number one draft choice out of Notre Dame, Harrison Smith in the house. How are you? Good. Thanks for having me on. Great to have you back. And had Chef C a couple of weeks ago. Great to have you back with us to talk at, at length. And I must tell you right off the bat that there are a lot of Minnesota Viking fans that are happy to see you because we are fixing the defensive backfield, which a lot of people have been nervous about. But you say is you guys are going to get it taken care of. I mean, that's that's the plan right now. Um, you know, just just doing off season work, working with the vets that are already there. Some of us new guys coming in. Um, we're all just looking to come together and make an impact and, and turn things around. Um, so hopefully these guys are happy back here. Oh, they'll be very, very they're happy <laughs> sitting here hanging out with you. For, for sure. When you look at the scouting report about you, I got I got to read this quote and we'll put it up for folks right here. Mike Mayock of the NFL Network, who you said is your guy. He says, this is a pick I really like when the Vikings drafted you. Smith is going to step in right now. I think he's the best pure zone safety in the draft. That's high praise. Yes, sir, definitely. And especially, you know, coming from a guy like Mike Mayock, he's, when you watch the NFL football and the college football, he, he's the guy that, that knows what he's talking about. He's, yeah. he's played and, and he, you know, so coming from him, that's, that's a great honor. And that's, you know, those are words that I feel I have to live up to. Is it because you put your hat on people, you take care, care of business, uh, you're very athletic, um, you, you cover the field very, very well. What is it about you that stands out in your opinion? Um, I mean, to me, I kind of pride myself in being able to do it all. Yeah. Um, I really like being able to play deep, play zone coverage, come down, play man to man, and then also, like you said, you know, put your hat on people, yeah. uh, bang your head around a little bit, and, and make some physical plays. Concussion free, too. <laughs> Concussion free, of Concussion course. Concussion free. So <laughs> Tampa two doesn't bother you at all, any of that stuff. No, that's. I mean, that's that's something that that we want to make a staple yeah. in our defense. So that's that's what we'll be looking to do. Harrison Smith is one of the newest Minnesota Vikings. He's in the house. We'll continue right here on Game On. We've made it easier for you to get your Game On. Download the new Game On app available for your iPhone and Android too. You'll find shows, a lot of photos, links to all our sponsors, including seven, all kinds of great stuff. And don't forget, get inside Game On. Our site has updates and blogs from all the teams. We link you to our partner site, purplepride.org. So please check us out. It's GameOnTVMN.com. On deck, more with the Vikings' newest safety, the hot shot out of Notre Dame. It's next on Game On. Let the celebration begin. The Minnesota Lynx are WNBA champions for 2011. Get your 2012 Minnesota Lynx season tickets now, starting at $153. Lindsey Whalen, Simone Augustus, Maya Moore, and the rest of the Lynx are set to defend their title, and you could be a part of the fun all summer long. For information and to get your season tickets, visit lynxbasketball.com. Tough follow, a 16-footer. Oh, Lindsey's on fire right now. 
4-Bid.com. New online auctions and inventory running weekly at 4-Bid.com. Liquidation for Minnesota businesses. Vehicle auctions at 4-Bid.com. Office equipment auctions at 4-Bid.com. Marine and boating auctions at 4-Bid.com. Always looking for consignments. Contact Jeff at 4-Bid.com. Don't get lost in those huge international sites. Keep it local. Keep it easy at 4-Bid.com. New online auctions and inventory running weekly at 4-Bid.com. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by Seven, your ultimate event destination. Great to have you with us. Rod Simons, Harrison Smith in the house. Did you expect Minnesota to be this nice uh, this time I, of year? I really didn't. It's, it's been a pleasant surprise. I've, I've been out on the lake a few times. You fish? Um, I'm, I'm starting to, I guess. You are. I'm starting to learn a little bit. Nice. But, um, yeah. So what did people tell you? You to wear your winter coat here in the summer? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, but the weather's been great. Nice. And, and I went to school, you know. Northern Indiana up at yeah. Notre so, Dame. Hey, so South Bend is not the warmest place in the world. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> hey, when we talk about the draft, and we, we just mentioned your first round draft choice of the Vikings, along with Matt Khalil, did you expect to be taken, uh, to be picked by the Vikings? Um, to be honest, I really didn't have any idea of where I was going to go. Okay. And, and, and I hadn't talked to the Vikings since I played in the Senior Bowl. Really? So they didn't meet with me or call me or talk to me at all. So they, they, really kept it under wraps and they kind of threw a curveball at the end. Did of they? It. Yeah. Because I read a number of different reports that had you going anywhere from uh, Tampa Bay to New England, uh, potentially a trade in Seattle. There were a lot of places you were uh, earmarked to be going. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, that's kind of the safety position just because, you know, you, you need a lot of safeties, guys that can play, you know, play on defense, play special teams. Yeah. So you can kind of go anywhere. I'm just glad that the Vikings, you know, move back and pick me up. Nice stuff. When you look at the overall draft experience, every draftee that I talk to says that they are so glad it's over. How do you feel? It, it, the exact same way. It's <laughs> like the pressure builds and builds at each step. You go to the senior bowl, the combine, the pro day, and by the end you're just like, give me give me a break. Just and, let me know where I'm going. And they tell me it kind of starts after your junior season, so it stays with you a long time. Yeah, that's when, you know, agents start contacting you, oh, which is legal. Yeah. As long as you don't take anything from them. But right. that whole process starts and it just it just rolls. Yeah. Best part of being a Viking so far is the fans, honestly. Yeah. The the fans Crazy have been they great. Come out. They... I know that I mean I I would have never expected this. So yeah. it's it's awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you for being with us a couple weeks ago with Chef C. Thank you for uh, taking the time. We're looking forward to big things and get ready. If you're thinking about the Minnesota winter, get ready for Minnesota summer in Mankato because it's hot. Sounds good. Sounds good. You guys think so? <laughs> yes. Viking World Order right here. Harrison Smith in the house. Congratulations. Yeah. Great to have you. Only here. I'm here. It's time for the Bud Light lineup. The Twins get Oakland after the All-Star break on the 13th. Vikings' first preseason home game will be against Buffalo. Stars soccer against Tampa Bay and Lynx basketball against the Shock on the 12th. The Wolves have summer league basketball against the Clippers. St. Paul States later today against Sioux City. Canterbury Park at 1.30 with reverse post and live racing. And Gopher football will have their first game against New Hampshire at TCF Bank Stadium in September. Love Big in September, big fashion show. And the Miracle League will put on the Big Whiff sponsored by Popsicle, hoping to make it the largest wiffle ball tournament ever held. That's in mid-August. The Champions Tour at 3M, PGA at the TPC Deer Run, NASCAR with the Lennox Tools 301, and it's the power cruise for BIR for Wheels of Thunder. For seven Ultra Lounge Fridays, seven Saturdays, and all-you-can-eat sushi on Sunday and Monday. And don't forget, it's our Game On podcast just for you. Rod Webby and the A-Train previewing the game ahead. One-on-one -on -one with show guests. We'll have the latest inside information. And we get to your viewer mail as well. Find the Game On podcast at GameOnTVMN.com. And that's your Bud Light Lineup. On deck, we move from the defensive side of the ball to the offensive side with one of the linemen, Chris DeGear in the house, next on Game On. Get the party started, dial it. 
Pitbull together with Bud Light. Here we go. Pick up the latest issue of Wheels of Thunder magazine. If it's on wheels, you'll find it in Wheels of Thunder. Full color photos of bikes, trikes, cars, trucks, and even sleds. High performance or right off the street. Mind blowing power, speed, and custom touches. It's all in Wheels of Thunder magazine. Plus, find out about the latest races, rallies, and custom products and services in your area. Check out Wheels of Thunder on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Wheels of Thunder. Welcome back to Game On, powered by Seven, your ultimate event destination on this glorious sky bar with one of the big men from the Minnesota Moving Company. Chris DeGear's in the house. How are you, big man? I'm well. How are you doing, Rob? Good to see you. Good to see you. Now, we ran into each other the other day at the NFL Alumni Golf Tournament. Big time helping out kids, charities of all kinds to help kid, caring for kids is their motto. You're really into to doing that, giving back. Yes, sir. Definitely. Um, like I was telling you earlier, it's just a great thing to see you know the kids' faces light up it's always great to give back to the community give back to where you came from because uh, everybody's not as fortunate as us and it's yeah. definitely it's definitely great to give back you're a North Carolina kid yes sir and went to Wake Forest yes sir. so you said that you've been doing it since high school and during your days in the ACC yes sir definitely uh, we used to go and see the inner city kids of Winston-Salem um, yeah. you know like I said we used to go by there cheer them up you know do autographs yeah. They used to ask us questions. I mean, it's just really great to interact with the kids. Everybody remembers what it's like to be a little guy and have the big football team, the players come see them. Definitely. I remember being a kid and going to see uh, an arena game that my cousin was coaching in. Is that right? Yes, sir. Went to locker room after the game, and those guys were with the world to me, you know, for those couple of minutes. And now you're one of the big hogs on the Minnesota Vikings. You guys have, they've worked hard, the, uh, the team officials to solidify that offensive line. You guys got something going now. We do. We, you know, we have a solid line. I think we'll, we will be you know, very good going into this year. Everybody has their strong sets. Everybody's just trying to improve and get better. You've spent a lot of time playing behind one of the best of all time, Steve Hutchinson. Yes, sir. You've really learned your uh, the tricks of the trade, I'd say. I have. I try to pick up on everything that Steve has taught me. Yeah. Um, Coming from, from a, a Pro Bowl and a Hall of Fame player, yeah. uh, I just try to pick up everything you know, playing behind him. Do you feel like it's your time a little bit i mean you spent some time on the bench now you are in a position to play a lot of downs on a team that needs linemen to step up definitely came in my rookie year played in eight games started five last year was kind of a setback for me uh you know i'm coming to camp great shape lighter than usual yeah and you know i'm looking to to compete you know and stay hungry for one of the starters lighter spots. than usual what is that Loud than usual, about 325 when I come Is that in. Right? I play at 325. Because you look good right now. I mean, yes, sir. you're ready to go. Yes, sir. <laughs> What's it like playing by, uh, in front of Christian Ponder, helping the young guy out? You know, it's, it's, it's actually going very great. Um, the thing with us, we're, we're, we're both going to second year, learning right. Bill Musgrave's offense. Um, but it's, it's nice to see you know him light up in the huddle and take control. Yeah. You know, and uh, and, and, and and pretty much run the show. Did you did you play against him when you were uh, both in the ACC? I did. We played against him uh, a couple times. And, did Wake uh, beat Florida State? Yes, sir. Did he really? Yes, sir. I, I give him a hard time every time I see him about that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you do. Yes, sir. This is a football team that you know. I ta I've talked to a lot of Vikings. Toby Gerhardt just a couple weeks ago. We talked to Harrison Smith. Uh, you know, the the thing about the players is there's a confidence, even though they were three and thirteen last year. There's been a lot of new faces. There's a lot of youthful energy. Do you feel that too? Yes, sir. Um, you know, three and 13, there's nothing but upward mobility Absolutely. in store for us. So everybody has been working hard day in and day out. And we're all very excited for the season you know, yeah. to come. Adrian Peterson ever run over you? on the side there. I know he runs through a lot of holes. He fast. runs through a lot, but now he's never ran over me, you know, uh, thank God. You no know, one that, gets that in his a machine. Way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I, I don't I wouldn't want to be in front of him. He's something else though, isn't he? He is. What's it like blocking for Adrian Peterson? It's very exciting. You know, we never know where the ball's gonna end up going. You know, he sees what he sees and he hits it. Is that right? Yes sir. How, do you have an appetite, big man? I do. When we come back it's the two of us visiting with the man with the knives and the golden touch at the table. It's Chef C, only here on Game On. The message is simple. Spread positivity and create a vehicle to help others. It's the Love Big Give Back, creating new ways to increase awareness. Kudos to Tatino Gray student Claire Baker. She wrapped up her collection of nearly 33,000 pairs of shoes collected since 2010. 
All she's doing is trying to work for Souls for Souls, and she has won a trip to visit the kids in Haiti. This is a young lady making a difference. A high five and a Love Big give back to Claire Baker. Learn more about Love Big at lovebig.org. Game on and Seven supports this effort. Together, we're gonna get it done. What does it take to fill up an NFL lineman? That's the question only Chef C answers. It's next on Game On. Seven is the ultimate fine dining and entertainment destination. There's three levels of distinct and unforgettable experiences ahead. Seven is the winner of the prestigious Open Table Diner's Choice Award. It's memorable. You'll never forget Seven's five-star steakhouse, Seven's award-winning menu. Seven Sushi is not only unique, but unrivaled. And Seven's view is sweeping and magnificent year-round. Seven offers catering, the ease of front door valet, and unforgettable service. It's Seven, downtown Minneapolis, your ultimate event destination. It is Cooking with Chef C. Chef, great to have you with us. Yeah, great to be here. You got the big lineman, man. If there's anybody yeah. who appreciates your good food, it's I lineman. I finally look Definitely. small over here. Isn't you know, that it's great? Nice <laughs> Usually I'm always like the big guy, so, so this is nice. I said to Chris before we uh, did the food, I said, what do you want to eat? He says, I'll eat anything. Well, good. You I like sushi? We, you love it Definitely, here. definitely. I'm always here. Yeah, I think we covered all the bases. We got uh, beautiful scallops. We have an awesome ribeye. I put some mushrooms on there. Some Szechuan green beans, so it's got a little spice. You might want to shy away from it. Now, I was talking to North Carolina kid here. Uh -huh. It's nothing to him. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Isn't that right? You were yes, sir. Put cayenne pepper and red pepper flakes on everything. Yeah. 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 Dig in, dig in, big man. This... Yeah, this is the, the Midwest hot, I guess you could say the version of. And then we got our, our loaded baked potato. So and it's a beautiful night on the rooftop. It's real busy here, which, you know, is always a good thing. Tell us about this gorgeous steak. Well, we do the 1881, so we do a wet aged. Uh, it's a black Angus meets the Hereford, crossbred, and uh, it's just a, the king of all steaks, I always feel like. We cook at 1800 degrees, it leaves all that nice juice in there. That steak is just, I mean, it's all flavor. Your optimum temperature for a steak like this? You know, it's it's funny, people always ask me, what, what should I order, chef? A filet, I do I do rare. A ribeye with or anything with a bone, I do medium or more. And that's just because I want that flavor to leach out of that bone and kind of, you know, get in that meat. And you have so much fat on this that it's not gonna get tough, it's not gonna get dry. I mean, it's it's just gonna stay moist and it's gonna stay, you know, the optimum eating uh, eating texture, if you will. Chris is newly married. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Mariah Thank you. is his lovely bride. And when they go home, you both cook. Mm -hmm. And that's not uncommon, so he comes here, he, he loves to be taken care of. And see, that's the opposite of me. When I go home, I don't cook. <laughs> I order everything. My fridge has some ketchup, some homemade pickles, maybe some mustard, and that's about it. <laughs> Would you come in to Seven and order something like this? Oh, definitely. Um, I love y'all Seven style. Thank you. Yeah, I love that, that with the with the with the honey bourbon yeah, and the, the crab. Sauce is oh my gosh! Yeah, I love that. That's For the people yeah. at home that don't know about Seven style. So Seven style, we do uh, jumbo lump crab from Maryland, so on his coast and uh, a little bit further north, and then we throw uh, a honey bourbon. We use a uh, Jim Beam. We reduce that down. We add some nice clover honey a little bit of cream, a lot of butter, and we just smother that steak with it. The mushrooms are amazing. Yeah, they're baby portobello. We saute them with a real high heat, so you kind of get that real, like, uh, you know, strong texture on the outside, but all the juices are still kind of inside. They, they, I mean, the sound when they hit that hot pan is amazing. The joint is jumping. Yeah, it's, 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 got, it's, uh, it's got scenery going on. It's got a lot of people up here. We're getting ready for the Viking season. Got the big lineman. Twins take, are, are, you know. Taking care of him. It's all yeah, going to be good. That is. It, it, I'm excited for, you know, this whole week. We got a lot of people coming into town. Uh, we got a lot of things going on. You know, the Lynx are playing great ball. The Twins are playing great ball. The Vikings are practicing to play some great balls. So it's all good. You know, this is just a great, great time of the year. Chris DeGear, the newly married big man, is in the house. Chef C, as always, you rock the joint. Give it up. Very, very nice. <laughs> Thank we appreciate you. it. Only here cooking with Chef C. Hey, we'd love for you to join us at a live taping of Game On here at Seven Steakhouse. Be a part of it. Great food, autographs, memorable atmosphere. Our website always has the latest guest updates, and we want you to stay in touch with us via Facebook, Twitter, and all our shows are on iTunes as well. It's Game On TV. Soccer's in the spotlight, and the dark clouds are following. 
We have the Mayak 2 next on Game of Thrones. Hey Dave, we're out of Bud Light. Oh, good thing I just downloaded this app. Here we go. It's the sure sign of a good time. Just right taste of Bud Light. Here we go. Nice app. I gotta get a new phone. Dash bid online auctions. Auctions made easy with four steps. Step one, find our website and become a bidder. Step two, pick an item to bid on. Cars, trucks, boats, you name it, we sell it. Step three, win that item. Step four, come to the warehouse in Ramsey to pick up your items. You can buy and sell with us. 4-bid.com. Auctions made easy. Welcome back. It's Game Live, powered by 7 Year Ultimate Event Destination. This is Travis Wall of the Minnesota Stars FC. Great to have you with us. Thanks for having me. When we talk about careers, you've gone from one of the brightest college careers to a professional career trying to crack a lineup. We'll talk about that in just a sec. But you played for the Battling Bishops at Ohio Wesleyan. Yes, the Ohio Wesleyan Battling Bishops. And it was the, tell us about the conference. Um, it's called the North Coast Athletic Conference. and. Uh, we're renowned as having the absolute worst mascots in all of college athletics. What is the Battling Bishop? I couldn't tell you what it is, but it's a pretty funny emblem. It's yeah. just a very angry guy staring at us. Nice, nice. And you were, you come from a sports family. Your brother played with you at Ohio Wesleyan. Yes. Your sister was, uh, is a soccer she was, player. Yes, yeah, she was six years older than me. And tell us about uh, the honors that you did. So uh, my sister, sort of started the trend and chose Ohio Wesleyan and uh, she won a national championship there freshman year and then she was a freshman All-American, a sophomore All-American and a junior All-American. Weirdly enough she wasn't one her senior year but then my brother uh, decided to go to Ohio Wesleyan. He's only one year older than me. He was an All-American his last three years there and um, I chose to go there and I was an All-American my last two years. Unbelievable. Yeah. All three All-Americans. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. So you have 49 goals in 91 games as collegiate. You come here and it's tough to crack the lineup because they're deep. Yeah, we're very deep. I think that, uh, especially at forward, we have some really, really good forwards, but uh, I'm taking it as a, as a good rookie, I like to think. I like to learn from all the guys ahead of me because everybody brings a different dimension to the game. And it's, uh, I've already learned a lot in my two months here and yeah. I hope, hopefully I keep learning. I hear from football players, baseball, it doesn't matter what sport. It's very different from the college to the professional game. Yeah, that's definitely true. And I think even more so for me, coming from a Division Three level, it's probably even more of a jump than some Division One guys have because a lot of our guys have been probably drafted in the MLS, played at the highest level right. growing up. And it's, uh, it's just been a little bit uh, more of a wake-up call for me coming nice. here playing with But exciting guys. nonetheless. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm ecstatic. It's a... It's a pretty big deal back at my college because not too many people who play Division Three sports get this opportunity. So I'm just trying to enjoy it. Well, we're very, very excited, and you know, we'll uh, just a couple of minutes introduce people to the dark clouds. We've been yeah. talking about them on and off. Yeah. Uh, but here they have a unique fan base as well. Will you wear it on your jersey? Yeah. Uh, the dark clouds. Uh, I mean, I'm only a rookie, but I can already tell because I've traveled to some other games that we have some of the best fans in the league and. Uh, our jersey designer, our assistant coach, player, he does it all, yeah. Kevin Freeland, yeah. put on our away jerseys. Everywhere we go, dark clouds Let's follow. follow. So we take a little bit of the, uh, a little bit of them with us everywhere we go. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you, I appreciate we'll it. We'll be keeping an eye on the stars. You can get them on websites right there. Good luck the rest of the way. Thanks, I appreciate it. Only here on Game On. It is time for the Mayak Minute. This is Mitch Elliott, Bethel alum, 
and professional football player. Great to have you with us. Nice to be here. Nice to have you. Now you just finished in, was it Cedar Rapids? Yeah, I just finished the end of their season there. How was that as a kickstart to your professional career out of, fresh out of college? As, it was pretty good. I mean, I made it to the Vikings rookie camp, but yep. they didn't want to sign me. I think they're kind of wary of D3 player right. making the jump. So I got to play there and uh, just sort of compete against D2, D1 players. And it was a different kind of ball, so I got to practice a lot of stuff. My indications are that you're not afraid of any level and uh, <laughs> feel confident about your uh, opportunities uh, in the National Football League. Is that accurate? Yeah. So what are you waiting for at this point? Just the call? Do you continue to work out, keep your options open? Yeah, I'm working out in Woodbury, so I'm staying in shape. Yeah. But uh, I'm also working with my agent, kind of keeping options open, whether it's arena, CFL, NFL, anything like that. What was the opportunity like for you being a D3 player uh, and a very, very good one at Bethel? Uh, it, was, it was fun just stepping in a role, playing on a run-based team and really getting to learn to love the run. And just, we got a special team, special coaches at Bethel, so it was really fun just coming together. Coach Johnson had a, has a very, very strong program and you were a part of that. Yeah, he's a really good guy and I think that just, uh, uh, his character is kind of the foundation of the football team, so it all just works together. Well, we appreciate you being here. Good luck in your future and, uh, and all the good things happen for you. Thank yeah, you thank very you. much. Mitch Elliott is here, Bethel alum, only part of our Mayak Minute. Time now for our Game On update. A big Game On thank you to all the golfers, sponsors, and celebrities who played in the fifth Rod Simons Golf for the Gift of Adoption tournament at Troy Burn two weeks ago. It was a magical day with all the money raised to be turned into grants to couples looking to close that financial finish line to create their forever family. It also gave us a chance to visit with a lot of our favorites, including Gigi Marvin, who's busy with big plans. Well, I'm still competing with the U.S. national team, and so we have a camp coming up in August at Play Minnesota, and um, that's the current one we're focusing on, but obviously the Olympics are coming around, and we already have tryouts in one year for Sochi in 2014, so that's the long-term goal, I guess. Gigi, thanks, and that's your Game On Update. Busy show it's been, but before we let you go, we were talking to Travis about the stars just a couple minutes ago. These are two members of the Dark Clouds, Andy and John, and it says on the uniform, everywhere we go, Dark Clouds follow. You guys are serious about that. Yes, we are. How long have you been a member? Uh, since the founding in about 2003. You're a big fan of all the sports. These Definitely. guys are serious about Oh soccer. yeah, these guys are some of the craziest fans around. Yeah. Uh, Dark Clouds, yeah. They'll Come follow. on out. And so these are the Wacker Clappers, and so you have these out there, and you can bang and have a great time. Definitely, yeah. That's part of the fun of it out there. You know, you got the drums going, you got the horns going, you got the clappers going, mm. flags, flares, smoke bombs, you name it. Stars are serious about their fans, too. You look at their uniforms and their numbers on the road jerseys made up of fans. So congratulations on all the good work you guys do. Thank you. If you want updates on Game On, just go to our website. It's GameOnTVMN.com. We look forward to seeing you Tuesday nights here at 7 and each and every week right here on My29. For the dark clouds and all of us here at Game On, make it a great week and keep your game on.